yet another taste of yet another beer show. I'm Colin. I'm Chris. And we're going to review another beer. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this time around, it's uh, a beer from Dogfish Head Brewery, and I don't think we've actually done Dogfish Head on the show before, but they're a kind of well-known craft brewery based out of Delaware, and this is their Raison d'Etre, if I'm saying that correctly. I like, and it's, it. I like that little roll. It's, it's a little good, yeah. Good. And it's, uh, this should be one that, it's interesting, it's not really a favorite type of flavor of Chris or mine, but it's a dark Belgian. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is actually the predominant fruit that they mention right on the label is raisins. And I've had an experience with raisin beers in the past and it's not really my favorite, but Dogfish Head's always worth a try because they do such a good job. So we wanted to kind of get into that. And I don't really, I mean, I never really, I, I like kind of Belgian whites. I, I like uh, Blue Moon and kind of these traditional beers, but the darker it goes, kind of the less I become a fan of it. Yeah, and I guess um, as a, a self-proclaimed like beer enthusiast, like I, I really like trying new beers. The only and I and it almost pains me to say this. It's almost like saying my favorite pilsner is like Budweiser <laughs> or, or lager is Budweiser. So uh, when I, when uh, the, my favorite uh, Belgian ale is Blue Moon, and I've tried numerous craft uh, ales where they, they just have great reviews, and I just don't care for it. So. But Dogfish does make uh, their most famous beer, I guess, is their 60 or 90 minute IPA, which right. is delicious. So it's always worth a try. And uh, it's certainly, yeah. So I mean, with a, with a Belgian beer, especially a Belgian dark, we should expect full flavor and mm -hmm. this kind of strong sense. Yeah. Uh, the, the hops and the malts will be very strong. And then whatever fruit or flavors are kind of added will be this additive extra. Yeah, the uh, I, one of the hallmarks you can tell right off the bat for uh, a lot of Belgian ales is the fact that they're mostly not filtered beers. They right like so it should be a very cloudy beer. You should almost like uh, see particulate suspension, like walking going through the beer. And it's like <laughs> how long has this beer been sitting on your shelf? And it's like well, it's, it's actually pretty new. But um, this surprisingly is uh, most it's uh, actually, Belgian isn't like a dark amber color, but I, it might go back to the raisins and. Yeah, I think it also depends on different the different types of sugars that they're using mm -hmm. and everything. So they, uh, it seems like the key point of this beer is to use Belgian ingredients. So they're using mm -hmm. sugars from Belgium, hops and malts from Belgium. Yeah. Everything is kind of is Belgian in influenced, and that's yeah. that's really their goal here is to create, I guess, what they think is the quintessential dark yeah. Belgian. Well, that's what I mean. It's uh, for things like Blue Moon is like the quintessential like on tap Belgian right. ale like that you see. I mean, it's out in Colorado, so they're using all the same things that Coors. <laughs> you know, brewing company uses, but they're just making it in the, a different style. So, uh, it's certainly they're using authentic ingredients. So it, it should at least lend itself to be. Yeah, it, it's actually you can smell the raisin. Oh yeah. On the on the on the beer, which makes for a very interesting type of beer smell. <laughs> you're not you're yeah, not, you're not yeah. used to that. But uh, let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, you, you can actually taste the the raisin. It has a, I, I definitely have like if you eat like a whole box of those, uh, like a sun made raisin. Yeah, there's the whole sun made like the really mini ones that your mom gave you for lunch. Like if you eat the whole box and you have that like aftertaste, that's it's kind of exact. the aftertaste that you <laughs> yeah. get from, from the beer. Which that's actually a favorite snack of mine. I like raisins, but I don't know if it goes well for me in in the beer. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, that, it, there's no uh, bad beer finish. There's certainly a, a flavorful raisin right. finish to it. So, I mean, it's certainly not like you're eating you know, raisin juice, but it's, it, like, it, I don't want to make it, like, mm, we keep commenting raisin, raisin juice <laughs> beer. And yeah, we keep mentioning the raisins. It's not, it's not overpowering it's not raisins, overpowering, but no. it's, I, I think it, even if you didn't see that on the label or read on a review before you saw it, you'd say this is clearly a raisin or raisin-esque type like fruit that they use for the, the sugars. So. Yeah. Yeah, but not to make it seem like, it's not as if this is like prune juice you gave your grandfather. Yeah. It's not, not, that, not that bad. It's definitely an interesting flavor. It's not, it's not terrible. But I think the thing is if a friend maybe went to the bar and said, you gotta try this, I'm gonna get this for you, brought it back to me, I would enjoy it certainly, but I don't think I'd go for it again. No, it's, and I'll say just to, to make it look better, it's, it, it's better than I was expecting it to be. I, um, I, I try. You don't want to be judgmental when you try new beers, but especially for something you know, I don't like this style of beer brewing. That I always like. I know I'm not going to like this, or I wouldn't make it. It's better than I thought it would be because it is uh, very much not Belgian uh, ale tasting. It's very. Mm. 
it, it it's definitely a Belgian ale, but it doesn't taste as traditional Belgian ale that you would expect. So it's better than I thought, but I still probably would have half of the beer and try and pawn it on my friend and say, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get something different. I'm going to go get a palate cleanser. That's the other, the other thing too is it has a, um, a fairly strong aftertaste. So it, it's not palate, it's not, it's not very easy to drink in, in that, in that regard. Yeah. If, if you do like Belgian ales, then I suspect that you would like it. But it would also probably be something I would say it would be one of those if you're out with friends and you you're the DD and you can only have two or three for the night and you'd like Belgian ales and maybe this is a good selection for you because yeah. you'd want to savor it and just in, in drink a way slowly, it's just just because it's a, it's it's almost different because it's a departure and oftentimes the Belgian ale will be something that's paired real well with a citrus or anything like that like the we keep talking about Blue Moon but the quintessential way to serve Blue Moon is to yeah. put an orange peel in there um, this. They aren't serving with raisins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one's gonna drop raisins in a beer for you or anything like that. And I, in a way that would maybe enhance the flavors or pull out the flavors, but I don't know if it would enhance your experience. <laughs> it's certainly a non-traditional sugar source, and it and raisins have a very high percentage mm. like sugar content, so like per capita, like you know per ounce. Like it has a lot more sugar than a lot of things, but. You would have, I would expect them to use bananas or citrusy things for right. normal sugar sources in the Belgian ale. Because you, you, you kind of want to pull the bright flavors out rather yeah. than the, but I mean, yeah, it's a dark. It's, it's a little more rich. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds like generally not Chris's favorite, no, not my not. favorite, but if it's in, if, if you're the type of person who likes Belgians, this would be actually a good mix, a good one to try, uh, do something a little bit different for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of where the vertical is. Yeah, I, I would say that I, Probably won't go back to the store and pick another one up. Although if I was out with um, One of our lady friends and they happen to have half of the beer left. I wouldn't be like rolling my eyes saying, I have to finish this like I'll certainly finish it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't order it right so that's the way the raisin crumbles on uh, yet another beer show. That's Chris That's Colin and we are yet another beer show check us out on yet another beer show.com and all those various social networks <laughs> Cheers Cheers <laughs>it's yeah. almost like you know i'm gonna make pickle ice cream how much really yeah, how do you, do you really think this is gonna be you okay this is a beer brewed with raisins that's about as good as it could get <laughs> yeah it's not the type of beer that i'd be like Bleh! god i wasn't be like you know what i'm not doing this show anymore <laughs> how could you bring this beer in here